Hello, welcome back to my channel. So today, we're gonna to be doing rigs. This one I'm gonna show you how to do is the Ronnie Claw, as people are calling it. It's basically a Ronnie rig, but with a Nash Claw hook. You can do it with any hook, but this is one that I like to use at the moment. I've been getting some really good hook holds through the winter time, um, even through the end of last year. So this is how I tie mine up. So these are the things you're going to need to tie this rig. Skin link. Claw hook. Shrink tubing. Ronnie swivel. Bait screws. And hook beads. Right, so the hook link I like to use is the skin link. Any stiff coated braid would be perfect for it. So I cut off quite a big bit of uh, hook link, about a foot and a half. And the first thing I do is tie a big loop in one end of it. Now it's important that the loop's quite big and we'll find out why towards the end of the video. So for now we'll put that to one side and we'll get our, our hook choice. For me it's the uh, a nice big claw hook, size four. That's quite a decent size hook. Right, so as you can see on the Ronnie swivel, you've got a little hook one side. So you want to put your eye of your hook through that. So it's sitting there like that. Right, so now you're going to get yourself a bit of shrink tubing. You can use a uh, a bit of a kicker for these as well. You can just trim the end off. And you're just gonna put a little bit of that around your hook. So push it all the way down and just work it over that end of the eye of the hook just so it covers it like that. So it's just over the eye of the hook and the end of the uh, Ronnie swivel. So then what I do is get myself a little bait screw, stick that over the hook as well. Right, so now it's a bit fiddly, but you have to work your bait stopper over the point of the hook and just have it sitting somewhere like that. So the whole thing is sitting there. You can adjust that to any part of the hook to where you want it. Personally, I'd probably have it sitting like that because what we're going to do now is just steam the hook over the kettle so the shrink tubing shrinks down. Right, so once you've steamed that over the kettle, as you're doing it, you can just play about with this just so you get a nice little curve on it. So it's sitting like that. Right, so now we've done that, we're going to go back to the uh, hook link material. And at the opposite end to where you tied the loop, you're going to thread all the hook on. Just through the eye of the swivel. And then we're going to get it down to about the length you want the hook link. I'm probably going to go for about, about six, six to eight inches and then tie another loop in this end. But as you're pulling it down tight, just 
play about with it because you don't want that loop too big. I do like to have a loop in the end of it for the movement, but I don't want nothing too big. So about that size. So then I can pull that down tight. Right, so that's all pulled down tight now. So I can just trim off that little tag end. Right, so now that's all done and trimmed off, we have our hook link. Now, before you start fishing with it, you can just, because you've pulled it about, you can just play about with it, open the loop up in your hook link a little bit for a little bit more movement, twist the uh, tubing about so it sits better. But it's going to sit just like that. Right, so then when you're fishing, you'll have that. You can either put that big loop onto a quick change swivel, or I like to loop to loop it on every time. So the reason we've done a big loop on that end is because when you've got your hook baits on, Simply just screw your hook bait So you just screw your hook bait onto it So that will sit there all lovely When you've st I will just say when you've steamed your shrink tubing When you're on the bank just steam over your hook link as well and straighten it out So when that's on the lake bed it will sit perfectly straight with that just sitting up. Now the reason I do this large loop on the end is because if I've got these sitting in my birry all glugged up ready to go, when I bring the rods in and I want to swap the rig over, I can have them already with hook baits on and a nice big loop so I can fit that through. So I can loop to loop it to your swivel. And then the same the other way around. You haven't got to take the hook bait off. You can just take it round. So, there's the Ronnie Claw. Right, so there you go. There's the first rig tip. So like I said on one of my other videos, hopefully I can get one of these out at least every week or two. And anyone, any rigs you want me to show you, just drop us a comment and I'll go through it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. So there you go, the Ronnie Claw rig. Perfect rig and you get a perfect hook hold every time.